YouTube, YouTube, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tim here from Credit Kingdom. And today, I'm back again with another video to school y'all on some educational things about credit, such as age corporations. So, in life, credit is everything. So, that's how we get ahead. It's important to educate yourself and become knowledgeable, knowledgeable about credit because it's pretty much how the world runs, which is America, of course, on credit. So credit is power, as you should know. So before I get into it, I would like for you all to subscribe to the channel, like, or, or put any comments. It will really help the, uh, the channel grow. And I can keep bringing you guys this free content. Just... So today I'm going to talk about age corporations. And there was something that was new for me that I just got into starting to um, learn. So as I was finding out, an age corporation is uh, um, basically a, a business that's been established over time. So someone can establish a business, an LLC, an S Corp, a C Corp, maybe five years, 10 years, 20 years ago. It really doesn't matter. But pretty much the older the business and the more uh, financial background it got to it, the more it's going to cost you. So I know it can cost you from six fifty to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on what you're trying to go for. So it's just like um, a man or someone can be in be in a coma for ten years. That doesn't doesn't change the fact that he's he's ten years older than what he was. It just um, his life was just put on pause. Same as a business, the business is not not active during the moment. So as I was finding out, um, it's important to know when you buying a, a age corporation. Don't go in that blindly just. Oh, I'm finna buy this age corporation and I'm finna make hundreds of thousands of dollars. It doesn't work like that. It's a certain way you have to buy it and go for it before jumping into the water and not knowing how to swim because you could lose and get screwed over in this credit credit stuff. Because everything is about business and making money. So as I want y'all to know that when you is looking for it, if you at the point where you wanna get an age corporation, make sure it already has the the companies look legitimate. When I'm saying it got it has to look real, such as having maybe having a website, have four one one listing, um, what else? You can find the company on Google. Um, pretty much um the pay that score is established. It got a, a um a score of eighty or more on the pay that pay that score is just like a, a personal credit score. On a personal side you go from maybe four hundred to eight fifty. Just on a business side, it goes 0 to 100. So anything above 80 is the range that you want to be in. So, yeah, look for that. Look for if it's on um, Yellow Pages. If it got, um, you can find it on Google, things like that, of that nature. I'll basically make sure it's, it ain't something that someone just created out of nowhere. <clears throat> And that's another benefit of buying an age corporation is some companies, they will sell you these corporations. And you have to make sure that the paperwork is there, such as having the business bank account statements. It's just have the tax, tax year that it was filed so you can have that in your records. So once you take over the age corporation, and add it. You can either add it to to another thing. You can do is also if you can create an LLC. Another thing people are doing they adding it to their own LLC bit. So they buy an age corporation for like five years old. Then they go attach it to their own um, LLC. So it makes it seem like they LLC is five years old. And this is how you get ahead in this um, credit credit game stuff. Hmm. And also, um, another thing that I realized, it got changed a lot. So you just can't go in and establish a business and build up the pay that score. Because nowadays, lenders are looking at your personal credit as well. So if you have jacked up personal credit, because they want a personal guarantor, guarantee. So if it looks like your personal credit is horrible, it don't make no sense for them to give you business credit because like how can you take care you can't take care of your personal side of credit so why would we extend you business loans and credit lines and you just gonna 
not take care of that as well. So you have to look like you um you great at what you do with taking paying your bills on time and not showing them that you need need money. So if you maxing out your cars every time, you like cash scrapping and you study not paying the full back, that's that's a red flag for them as well. And they pretty much they deny you every time. So when buying an age corporation so you don't get screwed over, make sure you have to uh, look for these things. Like I told, look for if it have business bank statements, look if it have, make sure it don't have any um, tax liens on it, where it's, it's been filed bankruptcy on it. So they, they won't tell you these things, but you have to ask. Um, and also um, make sure you look for a trade line. If you ban one, a corporation, make sure if it have trade lines that's reporting on that, that, that built that pay that score up. So it, the, the trade lines can be closed or they can be either open. And um, what else? The uh, also another thing that will pretty much get you the how your corporation destroyed completely is um, somehow it's a way that you have to switch over and put your business name um, and make it attached to the um, corporation. Because if you just add add a new member or they call them officers or managers onto an older age corporation, then they may seem like, oh, it's something fishy going on. So they pretty much reset your whole entire um, business structure, such as giving you a, a zero pay that score and pretty much shutting down your whole credit profile because there's a new owner that's being reported on that. So I'm going to uh, research that as well, see how you can avoid that from happening. Um, what else? I mean, yeah, that was pretty much, um, and the reason why people build these age corporations so they can pretty much flip later on in life. So you can start an LLC or S Corp, C Corp today and invest about six, seven hundred dollars in it, and then you just let it sit for years and years. You pretty much flip that for ten thousand dollars if you pretty much be active with the, um, with your business, such as, you know, getting the trade lines added on it, building a business credit, getting your Dun and Bradstreet number built up, building your EIN, pretty much keeping things in order the way it should be. And I'm going to show you all, show you all two sites that I pretty much research and look into when I'm uh, learning about these age corporations. And I'll show you all here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah, this is called Wholesale Shelf Corp Corporation, and this is also another one that's called Wyoming Company dot 